Hello, in this video, we are going to solve an equation that involves two logarithms. Let's go ahead and write it down. The question is to solve log base four of x plus three plus log base four of x minus three equals two. Okay, so we have an equation here with two logarithms that we have to solve. Let's go through it, solution. So when you have an equation like this and you have two logs and you have a plus sign in between the logarithms, you want to use something called the product rule for logarithms. The product rule for log says if you have the log of m plus the log of n, and the base doesn't matter here, so I just left it as log, this is equal to the log of m times n. So the addition turns into multiplication. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply that here to this problem. So this will become log base four of, and this is kind of cool, x plus three times x minus three. That's the difference of squares. And that's equal to two. And this has been written in what's called logarithmic form. So now we want to write this in what's called exponential form. And the reason we want to do that is because it'll get rid of the log, right? We're trying to find x, but it's like inside this log. And we're never going to find it unless we get rid of the log. So you can write it in um, exponential form two ways. You can say 4 squared is equal to all of this, or you can exponentiate both sides. I'm going to go ahead and exponentiate both sides because I feel like that's easier for people to understand. So what you do is you put a 4 here and you put a 4 here. And these basically go away. So you end up with this, which is the difference of squares, x squared minus 9, right? because it's x squared minus 3 squared. And that's equal to 4 squared, which is 16. If we add the 9 to both sides, we get x squared equals 25. And then when you take the square root, you get x equals plus or minus 5. Let's go ahead and check our answers uh, to this problem. So let's check 5. Checking 5, we put the 5 where the x is in the original equation. So it'll be log base 4 of 5 plus 3 plus log base 4 of 5 minus 3. So what's that going to be? It's going to be log base 4 of 8 plus log base 4 of 2. Again, we use the product rule here. This is log base 4. 8 times 2 is 16. 4 to what power is 16? 2. 4 squared equals 16. 4 squared equals 16. Boom, it checks. 5 is one of our answers. Negative 5 does not work. You can just look here. If you put a negative 5 here, you get log base 4. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. And this is where you stop. Don't keep going, right? You can't take the log of a negative number. It doesn't make any sense. So the answer is just 5. I hope it's been helpful, and hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Good luck to you.